everybody TXR here right now we are riding around in November and it is in the mid 70s right now still climbing a couple of degrees just really a beautiful beautiful day a shining example of what Texas weather can be like and today we're taking a little bit of a trip over to Denton which to be honest is the first time I've been to Denton and 20 years and even back then it was in a car and I only drove through and I'm still loving this new bike I haven't really given it an introduction yet it is a 2019 Street Glide Special and when I bought it, got a great deal on it from Paris Harley. I was hunting around. I was at Black Gold Harley at first, and I had two bikes to trade in, 17 Dyna and a 17 Street Glide Special. And just wanted something newer with lower mileage. This right here obviously is newer. It had 3,005 miles when I rolled it off the lot. When I came onto the lot, I already knew what I was looking for because it was priced right online. I went and looked at it. It already had the bars done, already had the windshield done, already had the extended foot controls, which I didn't even know was a thing. It had the four-point docking hardware for the sissy bar and has the stage one done with the uh, Screaming Eagle Pro Tuner. I'm not sure which air cleaner that is. It's a Screaming Eagle. And then it's got the stock headers, still catted with the Eliminator 400 Vance and Hines slip-on to which I'll be changing out here pretty soon. Overall, it was done. I didn't need to do anything else to it. It had most everything on it that I wanted to do. The fact that it was also four grand cheaper than what every other dealer was throwing out there, which isn't necessarily the fault of the dealer. It's about the market, but I was still very pleased with it and they gave me exactly what I was looking for on my two trades which was kind of a bittersweet thing because that street glide had only had it for a week and a half it was a deal that one of our buddies that we ride with which you've seen in the video in the various videos white haired dude pretty tall in most of the videos he's riding a uh, road glide ultra and the last one posted he's got a uh, 2019 cbo street glide uh, his name was Wiley, he lived down in the Houston area, and he had a dealer that he was friends with. Not a Harley dealer, but dealt mostly in Harley bikes. And he found that particular bike and knew I was in the market. So he was able to pass on his friend discount on the bike. I kind of didn't want to do that because Wiley died shortly after that. It's one of those things, I've tried to record something about this a lot and just never am happy with it. I don't think I'm ever going to be happy with it. It's a bullshit topic. And since I'm not monetized yet, it's a fucked up, entirely fucked up story. We were out in a group and we get into a curve that wasn't anything special but it was cracked and when i say cracked the curve was to the left the shifts in the road were about that far apart literally going to the outside and wiley was behind me on the right i knew it was coming i barely avoided it for whatever reason he went off the road. The ground was pretty saturated from several days of rain. Front wheel dug in, turned, bent up to the frame, and that was all she wrote. You know, got down there in the ditch with him and tried to hold out hope while there were still signs of life, but it was just the body shutting down. That was on September 27th of this year, which also happens to be my wedding anniversary. I've also knew Wiley. We've all been kind of struggling with the sense. That day, it was this same formation with that rider in front. He's our typical leader. And me leading the second line. 
both of us have obviously been through our share of guilt feeling guilty for what happened for, for picking the road for approaching it the way we did we weren't speeding I sent a copy of my video to the state troopers we weren't speeding it, it's just that's a hard damn thing to deal with and it was my first time dealing with not just losing a fellow rider but actually being in the ditch with them as his last breath went out it's been a very complicated ordeal and at the same time we've had a little bit of infighting in the group which actually started that day before everything happened but you know it, it's just been a really trying past six weeks throw the election mess into there and it's yeah 2020 can eat a dick but yeah so this is where we are right now i've got a guy on one of these facebook groups who's over in saginaw which is the north side of fort worth who has a chromed bike and when he bought it he needed something to put his luggage and stuff on he was out of state and all they had were the black sissy bars well i've got the chrome sissy bar still on here from the 2017 street light special i have and a black bike so he's got a black bar with a chrome bike i've got a chrome bar with a black bike so we're trying to do a straight swab minus the pads we'll keep our own and he's kind of ghosting me lately tried messaging messaging him last night tried messaging him this morning and of course this is all on facebook messenger and he's reading them at least the uh, ones last night he was and not replying we're supposed to meet up sometime this weekend but i'm you know calling to find out because we had rides planned today and you know as we're doing right now which was just one of those things that we started kind of looking into what's in Denton for a ride destination and we found stuff that just sounded good it was appealing it made us hungry <laughs> so we decided you know what we haven't been out there let's go out there he hadn't been out there in a while like I said I ain't been out there in 20 years so that's where we are heading today and you know I messaged a guy and told him we're going to be in that area anyway if he can meet up great We'll see what happens that'd be the perfect or uh, the perfect deal because we both have the same problem and a straight swap fixes that problem completely so we'll see how that works out but i wanted to get something out here is it, it i know it's been a while and you know also i'm hoping to have some pretty good footage from that camera there i know it's also pointing forward just like the one on the helmet but it's different you know and not having the fairing and the bars and all that crap in the way just nothing but the freaking road and the angles all being determined by the handlebars and the lean and all that shit and it comes out pretty cool that's my gopro here at seven black and 114 sure is nice There's a whole lot about this bike that's really nice. You know, it's just one of those things, man. I just... You know, it didn't take my wheels out from under me. The very next day, I was riding in town to meet this guy and another one for lunch. It was me, him, and the female rider who rides the, rides the Deluxe. Always has a real colorful headband. The three of us were in the ditch with them. And so the next day we met at a barbecue joint by our place. And just kind of feeling it out, you know. Um, and then afterwards we went out to this guy's farm to uh, do some shooting. 
and I insisted on riding the whole way. Even though he's got a long ass gravel driveway and still had to get in the truck anyway to go back on the back of the property and all that. I mean, it's just. It was one of those things I was afraid that it was going to take my wheels out from under me. And I really didn't want it to. I really wanted to continue enjoy, to enjoy riding because that's what this was all about. Enjoying riding. You know, and it's cliche as hell, but Wiley died doing what he loved. And I mean, we're talking, he was on the edge of retirement from a 40 year career. The thing that was holding him up was the fairly typical buyouts that happen to employee contracts. Not that he wasn't already well set up, but that certainly helps more. And what he had set up for retirement was a life of riding motorcycles with the beautiful lake house, riding motorcycles and fishing and sitting on his back porch feeding the deer. So, yeah, I didn't want this to take my feet out from under me because that would have sucked. But to be continued in a moment.
Okay, so back where we left off. And down the road a bit, too. Figuring out some navigation issues. I can't say it any other way than this is what it's all about. You know, we're not out here going crazy or anything. We're just enjoying it. Like I said, it's been a very difficult past six weeks. Been a, a lot of soul searching going on. And a lot of good times, too. It's hard to do anything but soul search when something like that goes down. So I didn't want it to keep me from riding to scare me off. So I made myself ride and it's been a little bit difficult. I've done a couple thousand miles since. You just kind of figure out figure it out as you go. I see a bunch of cracks in the road kind of like that. It still makes me a little bit nervous. But unlike in the days following, it doesn't slow me down. It just makes me think. And I'm already an overthinker anyway, so that's not typically a good thing. But you know, the new bike has been very good. And I was actually already talking about trading in those other two bikes. I had talked to Wiley about that the morning he died while we were staging up for the rut. He was just fine with it. You know, it's all about getting the machine that works best for you. And keeping both of those bikes would have been a bitch. And I was underwater on the dyna because of some stupid oil change service crap that Black Gold put in, which it, it was very, very useful while I had the dyna. But what ended up happening is the 5K service and the 10K service on that bike, ultimately I paid $1,900 for each. Non-transferable, non-refundable. Which is why I went back to them to begin with to make it right and acted like they were God's gift for charging me more I paid 26.5 out the door for this bike, and they were trying to charge me for the same thing, only with 500 miles instead of 3,000. They were trying to charge me uh, 31.5 or 32 out the door, and that was after I bitched. That was after I said, yeah, "I'm going to go check out Paris Harley and see what they got." Before that, it was 33 for the same bike only black it was a vivid black this is billiard blue been out enjoying it and learning the new bike it's different than even the 2017 was because apparently the 2017s are just lower bikes this one's a little bit higher in the saddle and you kind of feel that a little bit but it still feels really good and as much as i had bagged out that dyna it's still not anything compared to the full fairing and the touring chassis and all that so it, it it's been a learning experience i'm still learning on it i still take things a little bit easy just because i don't know how the bike's going to react to different things yet so we'll see how that goes but it's definitely definitely been a full all-around experience as a motorcycle rider in 2020 for me for better or worse good and bad you kind of just have to take what you're given and roll with it and hopefully that's what I'm doing you know hopefully that's what we're all doing um, you can't climb in the grave with them you know but that's all I've got for now we're going to continue making our way on 455 over to uh I think this goes to Salina or Wills Point. And we'll work our way down to Denton from there. Kind of just playing it by ear. There's no, no set route. So we'll see. Ride safe. Take it easy. Enjoy the holidays. Enjoy time with family because another cliche is you never know how much time you got. So make the most of it. Try not to pull your head over the election stuff. Y'all be good. Peace.